Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we'll be going through how we can fix Windows Score error code 0x803FB107. So the first method is to exclude the server side issues. For that, we'll scan from multiple sources. Outage report, is it down right now? So to make sure that the issue is from server side or from the local side. In case you don't find any server side issue, then move on to the next method. Now method number two is about installing every pending update on your computer. So press windows key along with R to open up the run dialog and then type in ms-settings colon windows update and then hit enter. Now click on the windows update tab and then click on the button that says check for update and install any pending update on your computer and then restart your PC. So method number three is about running the windows app troubleshooter. So hit windows key along with R to open up the run dialog and then type in ms-settings colon troubleshoot and then hit enter. Now inside the troubleshoot menu navigate to windows store apps and then click on run the troubleshooter now once it finds any fix then click on apply this fix and hopefully the issue should be resolved so method number four is about signing out and in off windows store so hit windows key and then search for windows store then click on the profile icon and then select sign out then sign in again and see if the issue still persists or not now method number five is about resetting the windows store cache so firstly we will do that manually from cmd so hit windows key along with R to open up the run dialog and then type in cmd and then hold control shift enter and then click ok now once the elevated command prompt is open simply type in wsreset dot exe and then hit enter now alternatively we could also do that from the settings app so hit windows key along with R to open up the run dialog and then type in ms dash settings colon apps features that would open up the apps and features screen now here search for Microsoft Store and then click on advanced options. Then navigate down and then click on reset. Method number six is about resetting Windows Store via elevated PowerShell. So hit Windows key along with R to open up the run dialog and then type in PowerShell. Then hold Control Shift Enter to open up the elevated PowerShell prompt. Then type in the following command and then hit enter. Once done, restart your PC and see if the issue still persists or not. Method number seven is about doing a repair install. We have published a detailed article on Apple's about that that you can navigate to and read in the sample article of this video so we hope that this was helpful for you guys make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel we'll see you in the next one take care bye